Good morning, folks, and a happy Saturday. I think I see some of that granular, cold white stuff. My goodness, what's this? it's called snow. It's called snow, that's what it is. Lake effect snow here in Chardon. Overall, the road's not too bad, mainly clear, but a few inches there on the ground uh, that fell late last night and this morning. Here's some snowfall amounts across the area. Madison, about four inches. The winner there, Pierpont, 10 inches of snow. Montville, another four inch amount. Ashtabula, one of the heaviest accumulations, near eight inches. Chardon, as I mentioned, only a few inches there. And then Shaker Heights in southeast Cuyahoga County, we're coming in at about an inch or so of snow. Now, if you're not seeing any snow, you're wondering, well, what's all the talk about the lake effect? Come on, it's cold out here. That's what you're caring about. And yes, it is our big weather story affecting everyone. 31 Dover, that's one of the warm spots. 30 Akron up into Cleveland, 28 in Ashtabula, 27 Mansfield, 29 in Worcester. So cold air for the middle of the day. This is one of the uh, coldest breaks of air. This is uh, temperatures actually coming in at 1230. Here's your 3D Max Doppler radar network. Nice westerly fetch coming off of the lake, moving into Lake County, Northern Geauga, and Ashtabula. Some of the heaviest snow, generally moderate here across Geneva, Geneva on the lake, Menor on the lake, into Austinburg, and actually Jefferson up to Ashtabula. Any of these darker blue colors, a brief blast of some moderate to heavy snow, slightly lighter blue, some steady light snow. We'll add maybe another inch or two in many of these areas as we go throughout the next few hours before I really think we're gonna dwindle the snow. I'll tell you what's gonna end it here in a second. Craig and Ashtabula sending in a picture with several inches of snow on the ground from this morning. Nicely done. And then we also have another picture from Ashtabula, Jolly M from Twitter. Uh, she's home on vacation from Ohio State University, also in Ashtabula, repping O-H-I-O -O in the snow there. Pretty nice. And then Channel 3 Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling tweeting a picture out of her daughter Josie saying, we have reached the point of desperation for playing in the snow. Barely a trace, but hey, you got to take advantage of it when you can. Most of the area, especially outside of the snow belt, has not seen much snow, and that trend will continue throughout the day. We're looking at temperatures generally just getting up to about the freezing mark. That's about as warm as we'll go. Some of you will stay likely around 29 or 30. Few snow showers, they're going to be east, and they're going to dwindle as we go past about 4 p.m., I think this evening is going to be mainly dry. Temperatures tonight getting cold. One of the coldest nights of the year so far. We're talking upper teens, lower 20s. It will be a general decreasing cloud trend. Now, if we look, here's this area of high pressure. This high is going to move in and push all the snow out of the way, ending it this evening. And then we're going to watch this area of low pressure and a warm front. This is going to grow and strengthen and push towards us. That warm front big catalyst for some warm Christmas week weather. No surprise the way we've gone this Jan uh, December. 44 tomorrow, so the end of the big cold is quickly over. We'll see sun for a good portion of the day, at least uh, mostly sunny skies before we cloud up in the afternoon. Monday, we're looking mild, but also wet and dreary. We'll be pretty windy as well, so that's the warm front and all the first rain, uh, range of moisture. Middle 50s Tuesday, mainly dry. Wednesday, we're going to jack those temperatures up into the middle 60s with some rain showers around, bigger batch of rain moving through on Thursday, and then Christmas Day, we're back into the 40s, but uh, no white Christmas this year. Even the guys that saw several inches, it's all going to melt by the end of the week.